Hi everybody, quick review about math.random. So you already know that math.random will return a double in the interval from zero to one, but it that interval includes zero and does not include one. So something like this. Using mathematical notation, I'm using the closed square bracket to indicate uh, included being included in the interval. And I'm using the uh, parentheses or the open circle to indicate a value that is not included in the interval. If you multiply by a value on the outside here, that's the same thing as scaling the interval or stretching the interval. So it's a transformation just like in math class that you've learned. So if the original interval is between 0 and 1 and I multiply by 8, I've now scaled that interval by stretching it to be between 0 and 8. But notice that the end val the endpoints are the same. So the left endpoint is still closed and the right endpoint is still open. So that's why you can't get the value 8 by saying math.random times 8. If I add a value on the outside, that's the same thing as translating or shifting the original interval. So the original interval had a length of 1. And if I add 2, that's just shifted my low point and my end point up by 2. So the 0 becomes 2, the 1 becomes 3, and everything in between is also shifted by that same amount. Um, so the length of the interval is still 1 because we haven't scaled it, we haven't stretched it or squished it. We've just moved where the interval starts and ends. So in mathematical notation it would be the interval from 2 to 3 where uh, the endpoint 2 is closed and the endpoint 3 is open. So how would we construct an expression that would give us any arbitrary interval we want. So let's say we want a random number, a random double between 11 and 14. So I'm think so for you got to use a combination of scaling and translating. So I know the minimum value I want is 11, um, and I know that the length of the interval I'm interested in is a length of three. So if my original length is one, that means I need to scale. Uh, by a value of 3 to sort of stretch this to be a length of 3. So I could say math.random times 3. And so this by itself would give me an interval from 0 to 3. But then I could say let's start at 11 and then let's add an interval that, or let's add a random number from the interval from 0 to 3. So one way, about think, one way to think about this is I'm going to start at 11, that's the smallest value I'll ever have, and then ask what's the smallest thing that this could ever be and what's the largest thing that this could ever be. So the smallest this could ever be would be 0. So in that case I've got 11 plus 0 is 11 and that gives me my left endpoint. The largest thing this could ever be is not quite 3, right? Because remember it's an open circle. So the largest thing it could ever be is like 2.9999. So if we have 11 plus that value, that gives us not quite 14. So that's what gives us the right endpoint. So that's a different way of thinking about it. Think about what's your starting value, and then let's add a number that is between 0 and whatever distance you need to go in order to get to your maximum endpoint. These have all been doubles. Let's end by talking about what if you want to uh, generate a random integer. So if I cast to int, what that's doing is it's truncating any decimal portion of the random number. And truncating just means chopping it off. So uh, if I generate a, ra generate a random number in this interval, it's going to be 0 dot something because I never actually get up to 1. So it doesn't matter where my random number is in here. If I chop off the decimal portion, I always get 0. So if you just cast math.random to an integer, this is always equal to 0. In this example, however, if I were to multiply by 8 first and then cast to int, um, it would be, you can imagine it like rounding down. Um, so if I generate a random number here, 4 dot something, and then I cast to int, that would give me the integer 4. If I generate a random number here, it's 0 dot something, casting to int would make it 0. 
if it's up here at seven dot something, casting to int would make it seven. But notice that it's impossible to get the integer eight. So that's why there's this kind of rule that you can think about where whatever you're scaling by, if you're casting the expression to an int, this is one larger than the largest integer that you're ever going to get. So if I want to get integers between zero and 10, I would need to scale by 11 instead of 10. I hope this has helped you think a little bit about math.random.